subscribe and like. Click, please. RPO Concept Play Hello. This is the 11th RPO Play. This time, I'll show you how the inside zone play is combined with a double hitch route. In addition, according to the number of defenders in the tackle box, the movement of one defender and the reading of two movements were made separately. It might be a bit difficult because it depends on the case. Offense team blockers in the tackle box are 5 and the number of players on the defense team is 5 and 6. How to deploy the play First, let me explain the play assuming there are 5 defenders in the tackle box. If there are 4 defense lines and 1 linebacker is in the box. In this case, the number of blockers and the number of defenders in the tackle box is the same. So we need to determine the inside linebacker's movement outside the tackle box. When the inside linebacker moves outward to check the pass play, the quarterback can select the inside zone rush play to create a 5-5 situation. It is recommended that you select run play because the his pass has too low a chance of success. Inside linebacker moves outward. Next we'll see if the inside linebacker comes into the tackle box. At this point, the number of defenders inside the tackle box will increase from 5 to 6 in a moment, making it difficult to produce an effect on run play. That's why I have to pass to one of the two receiver running the hitch route. At this point, you will need to determine the movement of the outside linebacker one more time. If the outside linebacker moves to block the pass from the outside of the second receiver, it passes to the inner third receiver, and if it moves toward the third receiver, it passes to the second receiver. Hitch is very difficult to block a short, simple pass route for one defender, so if you can only accurately timing a pass, you can say it's a very high success rate. Inside linebacker moves inwards and outside linebacker moves outwards. Inside linebacker moves inwards and outside linebacker moves inwards.
Here are six defenders in the tackle box. Because there is one more defender in the tackle box than we saw earlier, the inside zone run play has to be ineffective. That's why we have to look for passes in the under zone where the defense density is tight. When selecting a double hitch route, you can make the selection a little easier than the previous image. This is because you only have to judge the movement of one outside linebacker. In this situation, if the outside linebacker moves to the inner third receiver, it passes to the second receiver, and if it moves to the second receiver, it passes to the third receiver. Outside linebacker goes outwards. Outside linebackers come inwards. Let me explain the lash situation. This time there are six defenders in the tackle box and one safety. At this point, there is one more person in the under zone than in the previous situation. So not only the run play but also the double hitch route will be significantly less successful. That's why we have to use the first receiver on both sides at this time. This should be used because both receivers often have a one-on-one -on -one situation with a cornerback. So, depending on the coverage of the cornerback, you have to choose either a fade router or a quick slant route to attack the defensive team's weaknesses. If the cornerback is close, if cornerback is far away.
What do you think of my plans and ideas? I hope you can post comments and communicate and grow together. Please click on subscribe and like.